I go to YouTube, I'm Max, and today I want to open a Power of the Elements booster box. Um, I decided to buy one when I was at my local store yesterday, and I got a good price. Um, so I thought, why not? There are some pretty valuable cards in here. Uh, I don't know too much about the archetypes that are in here, uh, all that sprite and tier element stuff, um, how they are played, and I don't really intend to play them. But um, I hope to get some nice pulls to sell the cards later. And uh, yeah, of course, uh, doing the video right after the release um, should give me some decent views, which I would appreciate as well. And just to check the values, I uh, have card market open in my uh, notebook. So if I get some higher rarity cards, I can check. Uh, if they are something nice. Oh, more Melfi stuff. Uh, Emperor Tanuki's Critter account. Okay. Uh, Chopper is not a Tanuki. Yay. Uh, okay. Hidden Gem of the Seafront. Okay. Uh, there's one card I want to pull out of here, or maybe two. One is that new Super Poly target. Oh, Ashura King, Secret Rare, second pack. Um, let's see, is that uh, any good? Ashura King, I don't see it on the first page, so um, that might be one of the not so great Secret Rares. But let's see. Maybe I will get another one that is good. Um, yeah, talking about the cards I wanted to get, the one is uh, that super poly target, Sprite Jet, okay. Um, and the other one is um, the card that comes as a collector, uh, not collector, as a Starlight Rare 2, uh, which is Ultimate Slayer. That could be a generic card that's worth playing, but uh, yeah, I have to pull it first to be able to use it. Melfi Valley. Oh, Elemental Hero Spirit of Neos. Interesting. And that guy again. And of course, uh, other than the two cards I just mentioned, just getting some high value cards would be nice. Uh, Sprite Starter. Okay. That's a decent one. One of. Uh, oh no, it's like uh, the best ultra rare in the set. Nice. Cool. Uh, special summon the Sprite Monster from my deck, but lose life points equal to its original attack. Oh, okay. Oh, Moki Moki! There's Moki Moki support in here, what does it do? Um, okay. Interesting. Nobody really knows what he's uh, thinking, but sometimes he gets mad. And that's dreadful. <laughs> or something like this is his vanilla flavor text. Skyclaw Straddle. I hope my camera will last for the whole video because there's not too much battery left but I felt like taking the risk I didn't want to wait any longer <laughs> to open the, the packs uh, Gem Knight Lady Rose Diamond I will have to go through the um, commons and super rares to see if there are any cards that are not valuable but playable, at least for me maybe. Sometimes there are common cards in uh, sets like this. Oh, upgrade the power tool dragon. <laughs> Moki Moki again. Um, for example, like um, in Rise of the Duelist, you had Dogmatica Punishment as a common, which was and still is a good card. Maybe there are some uh, similar cards in here. But 
at the moment it's more about oh another Albus card about the higher rarities Hydra and the Orbit well <laughs> three packs left on the first half so there should be another ultra rare Punk Jam Dragon Drive. Nice. Double Dust Tornado Wins. Um, okay. <laughs> have to read that later. But it seems like it returns rather than destroy. Which is weird because original Dust Tornado destroyed. And you could set a card after it resolved. Or when it resolved. Emperor Tanuki's Critter account again. It's not his Twitter account, but it's his Critter account. <laughs> that hunts are something you have to watch out when uh, you watch my videos. So, um, like a retroactive warning. Power Tool Braver Dragon again. And that little amphibious thing but it's a rock type so okay <laughs> more branded stuff more melfi stuff grand tusk dragon why should the dragon have tusks not okay it's not a mammoth it's not an elephant it's not a narwhale <laughs> Scareclaw Lightheart. Is that any good? Nope. Meh. So a bad secret rare and a bad ultra rare, but also one good ultra, ultra rare. The second half of the box is better, hopefully. Let's see. Um, if the packs are, or the boxes are mappable, the second pack should have the secret rare. So let's save that. Oh no, let's just check if it's mappable or not. Let's see. Drum roll. Oh no, it's not mappable. I think the second pack had the secret rare. If my memory serves me right, that is. Oh, Garura, Wings of Resonant Life. There I go. That's what I wanted. It takes uh, two monsters with the same type and attribute, but different names. So another pretty generic super poly target. Has some value, not too high. Uh, not as much as the sprite starter, but I do not intend to sell it, I intend to use it, so I'm happy with that. Also, if you use it for stuff like dogmat uh, Dogmatic High Punishment or anything, you can draw a card, which isn't too bad either. EN Wave. So, that's okay. Now let's go for Ultimate Slayer. Loris, Lady of Lament. Ah, oh, that's uh, for... Ah, uh, what are they called? Lair of Darkness decks. I think they played uh, Lilith, Lady of Lament. Was it Lilith? I'm not sure. Lilith or Lily. Ooh, T-Elements, Kaleido Heart. That's my second secret rare. And... Mm, yeah, okay, it's a decent one, I would say. Around 11 euro. So, yeah. Not uh, pulling my money back, as you could say. But could have been worse. Three decent cards so far. When I think about my Rise of the Duelist openings, the first box I had was Fire, 
and all the other ones were between meh and blah. <laughs> so um, this one should be around the yeah, meh range as well, but not at a blah. <clears throat> there should be one ultra rare left. Hello, laptop, don't go into standby. Uh, some Neo Space stuff. I have to sort what cards belong to which archetype after the opening. Alright. <laughs> I will not show that to you because that would be pretty boring, I guess. And chaotic. But how can something be chaotic? Oh, Elemental Hero Shining Neo's Wingman. That's a mouthful to say. And it's not a card that has too much value according to what I can see, but it's an e-hero card, so maybe someone will care about it. And this is my last pack of the opening. Mathmax Circular. Aren't Mathmax going up in relevance at the moment? I'm not sure, but I think I saw someone talk about that. So um, yeah, that's it. Quick recap of the higher rarities that I got. Elemental Hero, Shining Neos Wingman, Etielements Kaleido Heart, Garuga Wings of Resonant Life, Sprite Starter, which should be the highest value uh, card in this opening, not in this set, and Ashura King. As always, thank you for watching, stay tuned for more videos like this and old school based content. And see you next time on Random Old School Yu-Gi-Oh! Bye bye!